hope that they do a little bit in depth background for the teachers and staff and the administrators or whatever they hire. Tonight in New London, parents are questioning the school district after a second educator was arrested for sexual assault. Today, 25-year-old Javon Elmore faced a judge for the first time. At least four other educators are on paid leave, possibly connected to what police say is a complex investigation. Channel 3's Shante Passmore is live at Benny Dover Jackson Middle School with fallout and reaction from parents. Shante? Denise, tonight police say more arrests could be possible as it receives more information. Parents I spoke to say something needs to be done. The sexual assault investigations involving educators and students and other staff hovers over parents' minds. That's concerning to me, of course. You know, you got two people already coming out. You know, you know how many more are coming. You know, you send your kids into school to be protected, you know, by adults that you confine in and you trust. Today, Javon Elmore faced a judge for a sexual assault charge. The 25-year-old is on a $150,000 bond. Investigators said the district hired him as a paraprofessional last summer, working at Benny Dover Jackson Middle School and New London High School. The investigation is complex in that just when we believe we have a true handle on it, there's additional information that is received. Police shared this latest arrest follows an investigation into Karik Gaskin. He's accused of sexually assaulting students and having sex with employees at school. The district told Eyewitness News it fired Gaskin after he failed to appear at a hearing highlighting the allegations made against him. Investigators say both educators knew of each other well, but said it's too premature to say if both were in collusion with each other. Tonight, we hope to learn more about this latest arrest, but a judge sealed Elmore's arrest warrant for the next 14 days. Parents told Eyewitness News they want to see change at the district. They said they were going to have more security, so I don't know if that goes into the staff and how they behave. I would like them to like, revamp the whole thing. Revamp, revamp the whole process on how you hire people. And the superintendent did tell us this investigation is disturbing for the district. It also said it's working with DCF and police. Live in New London this evening, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.